Hello everybody, it is me, Andrew, and welcome to a review, reveal, show, and tell of The Angel Tarot uh, by Travis McHenry. It is published by uh, Rockpool Publishing. Now, something very interesting about this deck is that it started as a Kickstarter forever ago. And it was actually a very long time ago, actually now. But Rockpool um, decided to pick it up. I don't seem to have the um, Kickstarter version of it anywhere. Um, but I'll do a YouTube video about the comparisons between the two um, when I find the, <laughs> when I find it. Um, so Rockpool um, picked it up. And so this is the box. Super nice, all the gold and stuff. Um, I do believe I am being sent the um, the occult tarot, which used to be the demon, uh, the demon summoning tarot. This used to be called the angel evoking tarot. So I believe that deck should be here sometime soon. So the back of it says, "Go beyond the traditional angel tarot decks." with this set of 72 angels of the Kabbalah, or Shem Hemaphorash, Hemaphorash, Hemaphorash cards. Since the beginning of time, we have been drawn to the magnificence and grandeur of angels. Now, using original sigils, summoning sigil, summoning seals, and pentacles from ancient grimoires, the choirs of angelic hierarchy from the Kabbalah are shared with their divine names to invoke the true energies of these sacred majestic beings into your life. The Angel Tarot cleverly combines the major and minor arcana cards of the tarot together with medieval angels of ceremonial magic. Move forward on the chariot with art with the angel Michael, summon the moon with Gabriel, meet Elamaya, the queen of wands, or seek the Hierophant in Angel Hazel. So um, the um, what the cards look like changed. So Rockpool kind of gave this a super like crazy makeover. And stay tuned for my like walkthrough comparison video of the two because um, I'll show you that. Um, but the box is very nice. Um, it is there's a little place for the cards and book in here. A little sigil on the inside. Really, really, really like it. This is the book. So, oh, and you actually get a table of contents. Tarot meanings. Oh, cool. Fear, behold, I bring you, fear not, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Um, there are um, biblical things in this, but it's not like what you think. Um, tons of good information. The hierarchy of angels, seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, virtues, powers, um, Colossians 1.16 and principalities then archangels and angels and this is talking about how to conjure the angelic spirits so this is the one prior to um, this is the one after you summon the angel and using the tarot and you get some spreads and then you kind of see what the card like kind of like a key so you have the angelic number uh you have the angel name the tarot correspondence the meaning of the name um astrological meaning of the card and the angel so right here um the angels um office and abilities the summoning sigil and the pentacle of taz Graic. The six archangels, so we have Archangel Michael. So they all have Bible verses with them. 
Um, Archangel Michael will bring success in conflict and defeat your adversaries with ease. He rules over the order of archangels. He sure as hell does. Uh, Metatron, uh, Gabriel, Hanael, Samael, um, and Archangel Uriel, the fire of God. Super cool. The 72 angels. So this is divided into angels, not um, arcana. So just be aware of that. And they give you a um, pronunciation guide as well. And that is the guidebook. That is Travis. Okay, this guidebook feels very nice too. I really like the guidebook. Okay, so if you've seen the original version, um, then you'll, you'll get ready to see how different this one is. Um, I wish I could have found it, but like I said, it's just material for another video. So, I mean, even the cards are not in the traditional, um, in the traditional, like, full, you know, magician it's just kind of all over the place which is fine i guess it's not a big deal it goes in number of the the, uh, the number assigned to the angel which is fine i mean it's not a big deal to me um, i'm not really worried about that on the scale of things um the back is not super reversible because it's different um but i mean i guess if you really want to reversals you can um, but that's totally up to you. I do like the Ace of Pentacles card, odds. And I'm going to just show you guys these. I'll, um, I'll do a, um, whenever the occult tarot comes in, I will do a video of that as well. And um, then I'll do comparison videos too. I have started to work from home now, so my time has gotten a bit more uh constrained or limited in what I am able to do. The cardstock is very nice. So I'm probably not going to show you guys all of them. Um just because I want to draw a card for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna draw a card for you guys. So that way you can kind of see how the guidebook reads. Oop. Oop. There we go. And we can get, we can see what's going on with this. That new card. <laughs> that new card like dusting, I guess. Go with this card right here. Five of Cups. Prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. I've never associated the Five of Cups with prosperity ever. Um, ever. But let's see what the book says. Those born... Okay, so the angel is Vehulia. Vehulia. Those born under Vihulia love the military and glory and will be in rapport with the angel of war and become famous through the use of arms. Um, the angel may be called upon for the destruction of the enemy and deliverance from bondage. Um, and then soul guardian for those born between 2 p.m. and 2.20 p.m. Moral guardian for those born on um, May 1st, July 12th, September 22nd, December 3rd, and the 13th of February and the physical guardian guardian for those born from 16th to 20th of October. And it says, but unto thee I have cried, O Lord, and in the morning my, sh my prayer, shall my prayer prevent thee. So that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, this has been the Angel Tarot by Rockpool Publishing and um, Travis McHenry. Tell me what you think in the comments below and book a reading at the link in my bio or the link in the description. Bye, guys.